The number you have dialed has been changed. All right, folks, Pike Guy here. I'm going to show you how to install and add the uh, key to the WXTOIMG software and uh, where we can get the VB audio cable that we're going to need to in order to use this software. So if we come here to the following site and just download and install this uh, cable driver, we're going to need that because we're going to be using WX with uh, SDR Sharp. We need to have that. Once that's installed, we need to download our file here, which I have right here. And we're just going to run that and let it install. All right, so now we have the software and we have the virtual cable plugged in. All right, so we have it up here. Move this over to here and we'll put this back over here when this comes up it won't say Kevin up here it'll be just the base uh, software so we need to upgrade it to get more features out of it so we'll go to help enter upgrade key now here's what we need to paste in which I have here on my website so if you set it up like that and we'll just click OK, you'll have to close and reopen the software. Then once it comes up like that, you'll be good to go. You'll have every option that the software offers. The other thing we need to do is edit ground station location and recording options. So if we click on the recording option, we need to change our sound card to our cable output for the virtual cable. So once that is done, we can click OK. And we need to go to ground station. And we need to edit the ground station here with your Latin long city and whatnot and you can look it up if you want to start a recording we can go up here to file record and we can do an auto record or a manual test if you want one other thing you need to do is update the Kepler's here so that's done and that's pretty much it on how to get it installed choose the VP cable add the uh, key have it set up now when you do a recording which I'm going to do another video on that we can just do a manual here now as you can see down here, our volume's in the red, down here on the bottom right. That needs to be in the green, but we're not gonna have very good volume because we don't have nothing being piped in from SDR Sharp. But we need that in the green. And as you can see, it's trying to decode something, but like I said, we don't have nothing running. Then we can just go to File, stop and that will stop it thanks for watching stay tuned for another one